All right, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you, and we are going to take a look at a quadratic regression equation. Now, of course, this is going to be a word problem. And for our kids, we use this as an Algebra 2 review problem for our midterm exam. Now, we've got some data here that's presented in this table, and it talks about the concentration in milligrams per liter of medication in a patient's blood as time passes in the table that's presented. Now we've got to do three things. First, we've got to figure out a best fit equation. Second, we've got to figure out the concentration of the blood after four hours. And then lastly, we've got to interpret whatever that, that number means after four hours has passed, what that concentration of medicine is. So, first thing you want to do, of course, is turn on your graphing calculator. Now in there, what you're going to want to do is hit your Y equals menu. Make sure that there's nothing in there. Now that there's nothing in there, we're going to quit. We're going to go back to the home screen. Now in our table here, we're going to be given this information here in time. And this, we're going to use in L1. And in our concentration, we're going to put that in L2. And these are just the lists that we're going to use to input our data. Now, to get to those lists, what we're going to do is hit our stat button. And then we're going to choose number one, edit. Now I've already put that information in there, but if you have anything typed in there, what you need to do is go up to the top of the row and you're going to need to hit the clear button. Make sure you hit the clear button to remove any data that might be in there. Do not hit the delete button because then that'll just get rid of L1 altogether. So go ahead, take your time, input the data and then come back after you've got all of that input. Your calculator and my calculator should look identical when you're done with that piece. If you notice, down here in list number two, I had a typo. I typed in 15.5 instead of 15.6. This is the number one spot where students have trouble with this area. They'll type in the wrong value. So make sure that you type in all of your data values correctly. Once you've got that all set up, then we're just going to go ahead and take a look at what our picture looks like so we can determine what type of regression we want to use. Now to take a look at our picture, what we're going to do is we're going to hit our we're going to go to our stat plot menu and to get there you go to stat or second and then y equal. Now we're going to use plot 1 for our data. Now right now if you notice in your calculator plot 1 is turned off, so we need to turn that on. Our type is already set up for us. We want that type where it's just going to plot points. And then our X list is going to be the L1. And our Y list is going to be L2. And our mark is going to be just a little square. Now to graph this, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the zoom menu. Now all the way down at number 9 is going to be our stat. And what that's going to do is take whatever data we have and graph it for us. So zoom stat or you can just hit zoom and then number nine. When you hit enter, your picture should look similar to this one. Now, based on this picture, we can kind of tell that this function looks kind of like a parabola. So that tells me when I would go to do the regression, I don't want a linear regression and I don't want an exponential regression. I want a quadratic regression. So based on my picture I now know what type of regression to find so to come up with the best fit equation I'm gonna go back to my stat menu and then I'm gonna arrow over to calc now since I know that it's shaped like a quadratic I'm gonna go down to number five quadratic regression now instead of just hitting enter right off the bat what I want to do is go ahead and type in where the data is coming from and where I want the calculator to put the data or the equation that it comes up with. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit second and then number one because that's where my X's are coming from. Then I'm going to hit comma which is right above the seven. Then I'm going to hit second and L2 because that's where my Y's are coming from. Comma again. Now to tell the calculator where to put the data I'm going to use VARS, arrow over to Y VARS, choose number one function by hitting enter and then just enter again and what that's going to do for us is it's going to take the equation the calculator comes up and it's going to put that in y equals for us so if we look at y equals check that out it put that equation in there for us your screen might look a little bit different uh, than mine 
but all of that in here if I keep going over that's going to be that entire quadratic equation is going to be in there so that's going to be something that's really helpful in a little bit here so let me go back to my home screen and check this out here when we did that quadratic reg regression we got three different values for a b and c so that really what the calculator just did for us thank you very much is it gave us the best fit equation for this problem so what you want to do is take those values a b and c and write them in next to the x squared the x and the c appropriately for that now when you write your actual equation some teachers will have you go one decimal place some will go two I know in calculus the requirement there is that you have three decimal point accuracy so we're gonna go out to three decimal places for a and b so go ahead and write that in for the first question what's the best fit equation that you found now for the next question where it says what's the concentration of medicine in the blood after four hours has passed this question I love because we already did a little bit of work earlier that's going to help us out with this. We're going to go to our table of values. So to get there, you do second graph. And then arrow down, check that out. If you look at where X is 4, across from that is going to tell us the concentration of medicine in the blood after 4 hours, which is this value of negative 332.8. So negative 332.8 is our concentration of medicine in the blood after 4 hours has passed. Now, wait a second, though. You can't have a negative amount of anything in your bloodstream so now negative 332.8 that should kind of ring a bell a little bit in your head and just say look you can't have a negative amount of medication in your bloodstream you either have something in there or you've got nothing which would be zero so if we have less than zero in there then that's going to imply the following since the value is negative there is no longer any medication in our bloodstream so that's what that value negative 332.8 means all right, thanks for watching today. Hopefully you understand how to do this problem now, and you guys will be rocking through on your midterm exam or any other type of problem that you've got to take a look at. Thanks for watching, and you all have a great day. Peace.